Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what's up? It's your Shy Town homie, Damian Howard in the building. I got my brothers. Y'all already see him on this piece. This is the first time we did it when you had more than one other person who was joining me. And I even see somebody else, Emmanuel. So, shoot, I'm going to bring Emmanuel in. I see Coach Johnson joining the call. So, momentarily, we are going to have multiple people that are coming into this space. And we have one sole purpose and reason for being here today. We want to give y'all highlights from the BER conference. We want to talk to y'all concerning what that conference meant for us, what our experience was like, because we got to pep, we got to put this thing on blast so that people understand. If you miss this thing again next year, you're playing. And we don't want you to play. We want you to stop playing. Stop playing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, so <laughs> folks, let's talk about it a little bit. We're going to be kind of moving people in and out of this space. It's just a beautiful thing. Let us know, gentlemen, what the highlights of the conference was for you. Brother Martez, I already know it's when you grabbed that mic. You was up there singing like Barry White. Oh, <laughs> bro. You hit us with a deep note. That's I don't know what you said, but it sounded good. Y'all talk about the highlights. Patrice, you get us started. What's up? Man, well, first of all, you know, thank you for having me on. Yes, um, there were a couple of different highlights from the conference, you know. Um, I hate to go straight to the uh, the social events, but of course, you know, we keep it live. I'm sorry. Yes, sir. <laughs> but that was by far just the icing on the cake. Um, there were a number of di uh, great conferences, um, uh, speakers that we had there. We had, um, I guess, a few that stood out to me were from proficiency to excellence. It was Valerie Humphreys. And she was just talking about how to take your kids, if they're already proficient, how to take them to the next level. And she mentioned a lot of good things like, you know, um, using their personality characteristics in order to uh, to push their learning. And um, she was talking about eagles, doves, owls, parrots. And, you know, it was just a great way for the kids to connect with their own personality type. So I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Um, there were a couple other things, you know, men's round table with uh, Principal Cafele and all of you guys um, were also in that round table. I'm sure we'll talk about that a little bit more, but just being around um, other brothers, uh, other educators, and to be able to share our pains and our successes was just phenomenal. And then um, the Aspiring Leadership Institute, you know, some of us were are going into leadership positions and just to be there and to sit under the tutelage of, um, of Baruti Kefele uh, for all of us. I know it was just uh, it, for me personally, it was just it was a pleasure to get that insight. So um, that was just that was some of the highlights that I had. And I just love it. It was way more, way more than just that. But it was just a few things since I only have a few seconds. Man, I should have known you was going to talk about kicking it, bro. This man <laughs> said, who's dance? That man said, I like to dance. You got to come out swinging. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm about to bring Doc Cheston on up in here. Oh, yeah. Uh, Doc. Hey, so Martez, talk to us as Doc is coming into this space. Doc, hey. Dr. Cheston. Hey, y'all. <laughs> How are you guys? Fantastic. How are you? Tired, but I'm good. I'm great. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're looking great. Look well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> as, as always. So, Martez, talk to us about your highlights, brother. Highlights for me, all of the sessions, I absolutely enjoyed them. They were refreshing. They were rejuvenating. They were powerful, impactful. Uh, but one, if I had to just choose one element of the conference that stood out to me, it would be the scholarship gala. Mm. Uh, the speech was phenomenal. It lit my well relit my fire uh for education and just uh you don't really get those type of keynotes in other spaces uh to be so authentic and to be so genuine and to be so transparent and to to be able to share uh, a place of pain in order to inspire mm -hmm. others uh to yeah. know that they can overcome and they can persevere and that just really really inspired me and motivated me and i'm just so grateful to have been in that space that's what's up. That's what's up. So, fellas, do me a favor. I do not want you all to go anywhere. But like I said, it's kind of like musical chairs. We're going to move some things around. I'm going to go ahead and get two other brothers in here. And as I'm moving these pieces around, Doc Chester, what's up, Queen? Hello there, brother. How are you? I'm so well. I'm so well. Like you said, a little fatigued, too. But I'm just like, hold on. We're in the last place. <laughs> Anybody talking about no fatigue? We're going to let this thing work. <laughs> hey, that's right. That's, that's right. Doc Joanne said, hey, what's up? Hey, Miss Joanne. We missed you this year. Yeah, yeah. So, Joanne, don't play with us next year, 2020. Ooh-wee. Hey, so, Doc, <laughs> talk, talk to us about 
And I know this is so unfair to ask you because you are plugged in intimately in so many different ways with the conferences and everything BER. But talk to us from your perspective about the highlight from the conference. And I'm going to bring two other brothers in, Martez and Patrice. Do not go anywhere, fellas. Go ahead, Doc. Okay. Well, for me, the highlights were um, just the, the educators themselves that were there. Um, I realized that we had a lot of principals in um, this space this year. I think they were doing some recon and say, let me see what this thing is about. Let me, let me go out here and see <laughs> what this is, because we had a lot of leaders. I thought that was very special, um, how many principals we had that were at the conference. Um, yeah. Something else that was phenomenal for me was um, just the level of, I mean, our caliber of our speakers and presenters, like, um, I mean, our, our speakers were bar none, you know, you can't get that much power in one conference other than at the Rock Conference. I mean, yeah. there's nowhere else that you're going to go and you're going to get a Carlos Johnson, a Principal James Presley, a Dr. Chica Akua, Principal um, Kafele, Dr. Marcus Jackson. Um, yeah. And the list goes on and on and on. And there were others who were supposed to be there but had family emergencies like Robert Jackson and Dr. Craig Boykin and, and Eric Cork. And they were, they were texting me the whole time like, dog, I'm not going to make it. And so just yeah. that level of speakers – you can't get at another conference. And those our presenters like Martez and and um, Jessica Pontu and and um, Jody Wilson. I mean, yeah. practitioners who are out there making it happen. Marcus Scott. I mean, yeah. me. it was. I mean, and me. Yes, <laughs> and you. Yes, with the social emotional learning. Yes, you, <laughs> Mr. Johnson. I mean, so we had so many yeah. people that were just practitioners who were pouring into other practitioners. You know, it's just. And I think um, I got to go with my guy and say the parties were bar none as well. I mean, the parties <laughs> were. I enjoyed the parties and the scholarship ball. Yes. <laughs> about those parties. Let me tell y'all for people who are tuning in right now. <laughs> my birthday fell on one of these nights of this country. <laughs> And we went out. Let me talk to y'all. We went out. <laughs> and when we went out, listen, it wasn't popping like it should have been popping. So let me tell y'all what this community did for your boy right here. And it probably was for other reasons and people as well. But no, no. It was for you. you. It was for Damien. Listen, they were call the DJ. They said, come down. We're going to get a room. My brother Martez was like, bro, I'm staying around. Patrice was like, I'm about to dance. I think <laughs> I'm taking the shirt off. No, I don't know what was happening. <laughs> hey, y'all. Nah, you... We had an amazing time. What you about to say, Doc? Now you know what happens at the rock. Stay at the rock. Now we leave that back at the rock. We can't. They weren't there. They don't get to know about it. You got to be there to know about it, right? 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 He all chiseled, so I was thinking that maybe that might be. You know. Anyway, whatever. (laughs) Hey, brother Johnson, jump in here. Talk to us about your highlight from the conference, sir. Yeah, I mean that's first of all, uh, 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 hola to everyone and um, Dr. Chester from. I, I mean, just just crazy. You are right now um, the the secret sauce that America needs. I don't know who <laughs> knows that, but education needs. This is a secret sauce right now that needs to be bottled and spread out all over all, all over this country. Uh, so keep doing what you're doing. I wanted to say that first, and to all your brothers and Thank sisters, you. here, including me and to the BR family, um, it, it's real hard to pick just once one place, but um, because I do this in so many different spaces, what was really amazing to me, which I thought I would never, ever, ever see, um, everywhere I go in the, in the spaces that I go, everyone has to be so uh, knotted up and so tight and so tense and so professional that they never, ever let you see their slip. They never let you see their humanness. So to walk into the first SEL session, I think that's why I met you, Brother Damien, um, to see you as presenters, yourself and the other two ladies who were there presenting them. I mean, I mean, you guys were showing the human side of you, which really blew me away as a presenter because I never see that. It's always, I'm a professional. I'm Dr. So these are my degrees and this is what I can do for you. No one ever brings the human side to that. So for me to see that there, and then to be in the uh, 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 the, the uh, male meet, meeting with uh, Principal Kafele, 
and all of us brothers who were in there, I mean, to see brothers just allowing you to go beyond the veil and to see the human side of who they were. I mean, that it truly was Superman letting you see, look, brother, I'm Clark Kent. On another day, I'm Clark Kent. And, and that was awesome for me. That was awesome for me. Yeah, that's super dope to get that perspective. And y'all, that's the perspective of one of our top tier presenters that was at that conference. I'm loving the dynamics of this follow-up that we're doing right now because we have Doc Chester, who you all know is CEO and chief of the movement. We have brother Coach Carlos Johnson, who was a presenter there, um, one of, of a plenary session presenter. Um, some of us, myself, Martez, were also uh, leaders of session. But then now I want to go down to the A. Ooh, real quick, brother Emmanuel, talk to us, man. Let us know what the highlight um, for yourself was. Before you do that, brother Emmanuel, I am looking at this viewership and I see that we have folk in our community who are commenting, folks in our community who are coming in here with the likes and the hearts and all of those amazingly good things. Make sure that you share this. And at the end of the session, y'all need to stay tuned because there's going to be a very specific ask that we're going to ask for everybody who is viewing in to make sure that we boost up these numbers where they need yeah. to be and above where they need to be for next year. Emmanuel, jump in there, bro. Talk to us a little bit, bro. Highlight. Well, Dame, I came down there to once again connect with what I have always felt is a big family reunion. From day one, from the first year when Patrice Lumumba and I got on the road at two in the morning and walked in there with flip flops and T-shirts and shorts, everybody totally has surrounded and wrapped their arms around us and made us feel welcome. But this year, I went down there with a little bit of a different purpose, and that purpose was to honestly to reignite the fire, to also help find my voice in many different spaces where I find difficulty, also to just be around just black excellence in education. And when I tell you it was absolutely amazing being in the men's session and all of the breakout sessions and to just have so much collegiality and fun there. It, it was just a very uplifting experience. And overall, what I took from this is that, uh, just piggybacking on Brother Carlos, people really truly show their human side. And, and that is very important for us to have a support network, to have a place where we can reach out without feeling like, you know, there's a closed door or people are unreachable. So when I find myself having lunch with Principal Kafele and Patrice and Jody Wilson, I was just there thinking, wow, this is absolutely amazing that these luminaries are comfortable enough just to be here and to share everything that they have to offer. And at the same time, there was so much inspiration. I I'm telling you, the next time, the next session, I will not come back there without having a book read, without being a presenter, because I'm so inspired, my fire is lit, and, and I just can't say enough about the entire family reunion aspect of it all. That is what's up, brother. Appreciate that contribution. Y'all, like I said, it's like musical chairs. And every time uh -huh. I hit it, I mean, we're going to start moving things around. So as we move things around, I just need everybody to kind of stay put. She thought she was about to get off the hook, but I'm going to go ahead and bring Tracy up in this thing real quick. Because, Tracy, Dr. Chester and I have a specific question for you, sister. What's up, Tracy, first and foremost? Hey, everybody. I can only see Damon and Dr. Chester. Can you guys that's, see me? That's all who we you can. need. Right now. Hi. Hey, hey. That's all. Th those are the only people you need to see right now. Um, okay. I, I do know how to, how to talk. All right. So here's my question for you, Tracy. When you yes. were on the tail end of being able to participate in this conference, how did that give you further encouragement or intensify your fire for your role in the work that you are doing with Black Educators Rock? Oh, my goodness. Wow. That's a loaded question. <laughs> <laughs> loaded questions. Y'all know what I do. Okay. So, so no, no, number one, it's, it's truly an honor and a great pleasure to work uh, very closely to Dr. Chester. It really is. And so I consider her as my little sister and a great friend. And, <clears throat> and we, we see 
we see very much alike. And I think we're very compatible in terms of our, our strengths. And I think we complement each other very well. So I, um, I'm really excited. And I, and I enjoy working with her every minute. We go back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> we have different ideas and we fuss and tell each other what to do. But at the end of the day, we, we both share her vision. And so um, that's, the, that's the biggest part. To what y'all be fussing about? Huh? <laughs> What, what, what we don't, don't we fuss what about? Don't we fuss about? <laughs> right. What don't we fuss about? I mean, we go at it, <laughs> but it's all fine. good though. It's all good because we we, we all can, she, and she know we really can down the line. So that's right. Uh, but but most importantly, it's it's her vision and her dream and um her insightfulness and her um her fundamental belief that uh, building relationships. And that's what um, Mr. Carlos Johnson actually um, saw and was able to speak to because she and I both uh, have very unique skill sets in building um, interpersonal relationships. And so that's what it's all about really for us and, and believing in people. And as we were traveling back, you know, we were deliberating on, on 2002 because we already started the planning process for that. And it was like, she and I both was like, Doc, man, I know we got so many um, presenters, but we want to make sure that all of our people in our community have a voice. And we understand that many black educators do not have a voice to actually present and to share their ideas. And so um, we're, we're going to try to work more on that to see how we can get many more people to come out. But um, <clears throat> it's just like I told Dr. Sharon, it's working with black educators rock is is like you know when you're in a plane and you about you're on the one runway and you're about to take off it's the thrust of all the places that you're going to go so that's that's what fuels me that's my excitement uh, we see us being global and we see us changing the face of education for our community Every time, like you just had a fire that was lit in a very special way by being with your kinfolk and your kinfolk at this conference. So, right, amazing to hear you talk about that. Hey, Doc, so I'm going to keep you on on this last space with me. Hopefully, that's okay. Oh, of course. Mm-hmm. Thanks, thanks, people. guys. If you guys thanks, need Cody. me, I'm available. Thank you. Cool, cool. I just need people to be able to like get those dimples because they'd be on fleek the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> right there. They used to, they, hey, we see you, Doc. Hey, so Brother Carlos, we, we jumping <laughs> back in. We jumping you back in, Brother Carlos. All right, I'm here. I'm here. I'm going nowhere. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, so Brother Carlos, I just, brother, I got to get to it because yeah. I wanted to know, listen, I'm all behind on your computer looking at your PowerPoint after you present it because I felt like I was shortchanged. <laughs> <laughs> so the community, oh, I'm sorry. Kwame, we see you, bruh. Big brother James, Principal James Presley. We we see you on here again yeah. to everybody. Doc, he said hey to you. Jessica. Hey, hey Jessica. <laughs> Jody's in the building. Like literally all like our kin folks are in this space. That's right. Love, love. <laughs> oh, Cortland, I see you. Cortland said, What's up, Tracy, Dr. Chester? So, um, brother. We need to know what that golden nugget is. I forget exactly what it is that you called it, but you got cut short and you couldn't get up the last. <laughs> the, the, the golden the golden nugget is for next year. Okay. My bad. My bad. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Tell them they got to come back to get it. They got to come uh, back got, to get it. They got to come back with their staff to get the golden nugget. Yeah, you make right. a whole year. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> We, right. They got to all come back and bring their staff. Everybody's got to bring their teams. We're going to really unpack that That's thing. That's right. Year. Hey, That's right. I, I know I should have emailed that uh, PowerPoint to my <laughs> <laughs> Damn. All right, Brother Johnson, <laughs> just real quick. Um, again, you dropped uh, some amazing jewels. You had, you know, the whole room. Again, what happens at BAR stays at BAR, so I'm not even going to talk about the boat. You know, because <laughs> the boat was something I'm serious. About the boat. I the <laughs> no. I'll leave it alone. But any parting words that you have for the community, brother, on the tail end, a couple of days removed from the BER conference, uh, anything you want to say to the community before you jump out of here today, brother? Yeah, just a, a couple quick things. Uh, one, one is, I just, I really hope that 
um, the community will not let this be um, this energy dissipate that we'll ride this wave all the way until the next conference. I mean, there's no reason yeah. for us to disconnect just to reconnect a year from now. Right, right. I, I really hope that the conversation will continue to go on. Um, I have already made a, com a promise and commitment to, to keep conversations going on uh, regarding what we were just kind of laughing about. I'm going to be talking about the boat more on social media uh, because there's much more to that that cultural metaphor that we use as a boat than we just talked about in that keynote. Uh, so I'm going to be unpacking that throughout the year. There's some other speakers I've talked to that we're going to organically keep this conversation going, Dr. Chester, so that it literally leads people back to the conference. Um, yes. And we're committed to that. So um, that that's important. The, the other thing that um, that I would leave everyone with is that don't take it from me, take it from others who are have sojourned to so many other conferences. And honestly, I mean, honestly, take it from us. You're just not going to get this much meat served up on your plate like this anywhere else. I mean, it's always going to be diluted. But there's something that one of the sisters said that puts it real plain. Uh, when I was doing the keynote, we were doing the boat piece and the sister said this to let me know that I was amongst my people and we really could take, we really could be clear with one another. When she says, and you all forgive me if anyone's uh, offended with this, but this is what let everybody let their hair down. When she says the whole got to go. You remember that? Hey, hey, and that sister was Dr. Johnny Cruz Cray. That was Dr. Johnny Dr. Cruz Cray. The doctor Dr. said, that who got to go. The who got to go. That's what <laughs> let me know right then and there that this was a safe place yes. to really be human beings, that we really yeah. could talk about the true ills of education. Yeah. Because I'm there's certain conversations that just don't happen at other conferences because people won't go there. They just won't go there. And when that sister said that, I said, okay, let me roll these sleeves up. We can, we can, <laughs> this is a place so, where I can talk. So you knew so, you were home then, you were home. And don't, and don't ever lose that. I mean, as long as people don't go too far with it, but that's your secret sauce right there, Dr. Chester, that, that, the, Black education, educators, educators rock has become not only a place to come get education and information, but it's also it's also a place where people can come get healed. Yes. I, I mean, that that that's so. So if I if if I there are a lot of other things I would say offline or in other conversations, but I needed to say that in this form form today. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's uniquely healing. Brother yeah. Johnson. Brother John, uh, Coach Johnson, let me let me say that appropriately. Tracy, go come in the comment section talking about some must go. <laughs> <laughs> must go. Extra, extra on must. it. Must <laughs> go. No. Yeah, I say I'm with my folk now. I'm with my people now. Let's do this. We can talk now. <laughs> well, listen, I'm gonna bring Patrice back in here. Coach Johnson, thank you so much just for your contribution to the movement, brother. We are better because you exist and you make these contributions yes. and to us. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank and you, Doc, Brother Carlos. Uh, Doc, I just left a conference today that I've got to show you this app that they were okay. using throughout the conference. It was a thousand people there, and they were all using this app. And you, we definitely, you and I have to touch base anyway. So we'll, we'll, you let me know when you have some time on your calendar this week, and we can touch base. All right, be blessed, Brother Damien. You be Thank blessed, you. Doc. Peace out, my brother. Thank you. All right, now. So, Doc Chester, if it's okay, I'm going to get oh, the of course. brothers. I'm going to get the brothers back in here, and then you and I um, will conclude shortly thereafter. Of course, yeah. All right, give me, give me a moment. I'm going to bring the brothers in, Doc Chester. All right, look like Patrice ready. Watch how Patrice about to come on here, y'all. There you go, boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm going to go the ball on this uh, BER live session today. I'm just saying. Uh, you got my boy in there too. 
Huh? Yeah, my man. Uh, <laughs> that's why I asked. Let's do it. Okay, because I wanted to get all the guys. Oh, on yes. oh. what's up, E? Yes, sir. Listen. So here's my question. This is why I want to get y'all on here because I'm about to, I'm about to get real personal right now. Oh, and I'm about oh. to go one at a time. Brother Martinez. Brother Martinez. Yes, sir. You said you had a good time, right? Of course. You said you enjoyed yourself, right? Oh, yeah. So Dr. Chester, not even me, Dr. Chester wants to know who you're bringing with you next year. I have seven <laughs> confirmed already. Seven? Seven confirmations. Oh, I'm working on about 25 more. Dag, so Let's you set it. your personal goal that you want to get two, five to the party? Let's do it. Dag, seven Let's confirmations already? <laughs> huh? Seven confirmations already? Yes, we had our uh, district leadership uh, conference that started today. So everybody, uh, all of my like uh, colleagues, APs, principals, were seeing my pictures on Facebook. And they was like, where you been? Like, what, what's going on right mm -hmm. here? So I, I told them about it, and they're excited about it. So we're going we're gonna to make it happen. Hey, y'all, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Guess who came up in here? Brother Marcus Jackson is in the building. Oh, what's up, Chief? <laughs> But look here, the reason why I wanted to reference him real quick, I y'all need to show me this. Do, do, I, somebody do that real quick. I need to get that. Uh, y'all ready? Y'all ready? Hands out. Yeah. 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 Hard yeah. Hump. Good yeah. job, yeah. little buddy. Yeah. Hey, I thought, I, thought, <laughs> hey, That's I, thought, I thought black people was coordinated. <laughs> it must be me. I'm oh, I was like in the brother. I don't know. What's the connection? That's all. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but it's all good it's anyway. Late. Please it's bring it to the party it's next late. year. Who am I bringing to the party? You heard the um, party. Listen, 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 listen. Um, my myself and my boy Emmanuel um decided that we were going to make sure that it's our personal charge to take the Atlanta chapter um of BER, make that the premier uh resource for black educators. And so we're gonna try to take as many people in Atlanta as we possibly can. I got personally have a couple of friends um, that are in the teaching. Uh, however, I'm looking forward to pulling in as many people into the Atlanta chapter and us go ahead and planning now just so that we can go ahead and get this thing going for next year. So that's my, my longest skinny. Wait, hold up. So Brother Fitch and myself, I don't know. We don't know if we liking that premiere type stuff. So what you mean by that? Like what y'all talking? Because I'm now saying, you know, hey, ain't nothing wrong with a little healthy competition. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hey, hey, the cream always rises to the top. <laughs> okay. So what does Premier look like when you all have your local sessions? Are y'all going to make sure that y'all pack the place out for the bowling down in the A? I mean, what's up? Talk to me. What does Premier look like? Listen, Premier is whatever the people bring to the table that they would like to see. You know what I'm saying? Whatever resources we can pull together to make it. There may be some things that, that can't even come out of this brand. They got to come out of people. So, you know, whatever the people need, because at the end of the day, it's about helping the teachers to reach our black children. You know what I'm saying? And black and brown children. So, you know, they may need books, resources. They may need social groups. Uh, they may need some support, you know, uh, it, it professional development, of course. But whatever that looks like, you know, we may need to bring in some more guest speakers. You know, who knows? We already got the connection. Black educators rock. Right. We we got we already have as many presenters as we need to go ahead and take things to the next level in Atlanta. So Emmanuel may have another, uh, you know, may have some, uh, something to add to that. So before Emmanuel jumps in and talks about specifically who you're going to bring, Emmanuel, um, I see Ronnie is in the, in the building as well. He gave us an amazing science experiment. It's funny yes, it because as I was looking, both of the science videos were the ones that were getting the most traffic. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. People were loving everything that you were doing with that hands on science, brother. You're trying to get these schools out of the textbook and actually do science in a kinesthetic uh, hands-on type of way. So we appreciate you, bro. We appreciate you. Emmanuel, I'm going to put you on the solo and just give you a moment to talk about who you are bringing to the conference next year. Well, where there's vision, we can go wherever we want to go. But here's, a, here's the idea. We're right here in Atlanta. We have companies like Coca-Cola. We have Home Depot. We have Waffle House. We have, uh, let's, let's think of a people. We have 
We have McDonald's. We have these companies who are looking to support initiatives, amazing initiatives like Black Educators Rock. So my goal is to cast a vision out here and get the word out there so that they will know that this is happening and they will put their money where their mouth is and also you know, bring us that good energy that we need. So who am I planning on bringing? I'm planning on bringing everybody that I meet who has an interest in truly uplifting our young children of color, our brown children. You know who else I plan on bringing? I'm hoping to get some people who don't necessarily look like us. I'm hoping to get some some Caucasian people, some black people, some Indian people. I'm hoping to get folks from different races because Atlanta is truly a cultural melting pot where you find us represented in from all different walks of life. Last thing, my church alone has 10,000 people and we're, we, those 10,000 people come from 140 different nations. I think we have about 2,000 of those who are teachers alone. So it's time to hit the ground. It's time to really put the word out there because honestly, like, like brother Carlos said, this is the place to get healed and not only just to be able to get healed, but a place where you can go back and heal some communities. So I hope that answered your question. I, my vision is big. So at this point, I hope wherever we choose to have it at, wherever it's going to be, that the venue is big enough to hold the folks that the, that the two brothers from Atlanta is going to bring. Yo, competition. Huh? Hey, hey, <laughs> Peace up. Eight down down. Hey, hey, Chester, we already told you it needs to be in Atlanta, and I think Emmanuel just confirmed that. See, Dr. Chester said... If, if we take it to Atlanta, <laughs> oh, hold on. I'm going to let you know. Yes, sir. We ain't about to get me. We're going to start a petition. <laughs> right. yeah, hey, you got, you got three, three men from Georgia, you know what I'm saying, and, exactly. and you think this one's going to go down like this. Ando <laughs> is in the building. I see Tiffany Smith is in this space. My sister Alondra is in this space. It is amazing how many of the folk who now we know personally – at first, I just knew y'all based on this little itty bitty picture. Sometimes y'all get on BER live, um, but now like these are like my folk, my kin and skin folk, and y'all in the building. We appreciate y'all for being here, fellas. Um, much love. I'm so glad that we as the brothers are connected also in a personal space, so we can keep this energy moving. Let's all of us remember these commitments that we're making right now. Right. Absolutely. I'm gonna tell you, Martez, Doc Chester ain't gonna be, forget about your 25. I promise you, she not. Hey, if it's in Georgia, it'll be more than that. Nope, nope. Oh, come on, somebody. <laughs> come on, somebody. And let me and let me also say, fellas, with this Atlanta connection that y'all talking, Doc Chester ain't gonna forget that. I ain't gonna forget that. So <laughs> hey, hey, let's just make sure we hold true to our commitments because we know that ultimately this is a transformative movement, a transformative work that we are about. This is a safe space, a healing space, and we need to get as many people as possible to the movement, fellas. Peace out. Appreciate it. Peace. Bless y'all. Bless y'all. All right, Doc Chester. Doc Chester, we need you to come back on up in here. I love how you getting that that smile on fleek. <laughs> I'm All right, listening to this, this. I'm listening to these Atlanta um, people. I, we can't go to Atlanta, Damien. We lose everybody to the strip club. There's too many strip clubs in Atlanta. I'm glad y'all saying this stuff because I want to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm true to the motto, right? I'm true to that. Whatever happens, you know, it stays. So I'm just going to let you Whatever happens at the rock stays at the rock. Doc, 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 we want to go to Atlanta. I want to go to Atlanta, too. I'm, I'm just saying. You do? Anyway, you want to go to Atlanta, too? I got family down there. I love Atlanta. Only thing, I just don't love 75. And what's that circle? What's it, 285? I don't love those things. <laughs> but other than that, Atlanta is good. So the fellas and the community that was here, were able to bless us with their presence. I'm loving the fact that we got consistent viewership for this whole BER live segment. Doc Chester, yeah. it is off the chain. So talk to us, Doc. Every time when I when I get an opportunity to talk to you on this platform, I'm always wanting to know more than anything. Doc, how can we support you? Nothing of significance, let me say this, was done by one man or one woman bands. We have a community of individuals who are articulating this desire to help to just kind of take the movement to the next level. But now we want to kind of hear from your heart because let's be real with it, Doc. I know that you've heard people articulate such multiple times. So from your perspective and from your own heart, from your own spirit, right? Like, what do you want to say to this community if we actually follow through on these things that people are commenting and that the brothers said and that 
Tracy uh, said, all of us said on this call today? The first thing is to actually join the nonprofit. If you're not a paying member of the nonprofit, join the nonprofit. The nonprofit is $52 for a general membership. If you're an entrepreneur, that's an educator who has a business on the side that they, they work. That's only $100. And then there's other levels for those higher level um, entrepreneurs or those people who have um, educational platforms. So become a member first. That's the first thing. Be an official member because we're so much more than a Facebook group. You know, you'll have people saying, I'm a member, I'm a member, but you're not with us. You're, you're in the Facebook group. That's a social space. We need you in the actual numbers in the membership. So that would be number one. Number two would be just what everyone is saying. I mean, um, I'm loving the fact that we're leaving this conference this year with I think we're going to double our number of local chapters. Um, I've had New Jersey. I've had Atlanta, South Carolina, Alabama. There are, new, um, there are different people that are saying they're willing to start a chapter. And that grassroots effort is also very integral to the movement. And then third, just what I've been seeing people doing, collectively collaborating. I've seen people saying, hey, science machine, I want you to come to my school. Hey, fun word science, I want you to come to the school. Hey, um, I'm available for this and I'm available for that. And so just again, just continuing to collaborate with one another. Um, there's going to be a, a group that will be put together, a brainstorm, a brainstorm group. There will be a, a handful of us that are going to be putting together something pretty, pretty phenomenal that we're going to be announcing very, very soon. I thought I was ready to announce the location, but then you guys put all this pressure on me. But I can announce the dates. Um, the dates will be um, July 16th through the 19th. I think that starts that Thursday. So we'll be with those dates um, again. I was going to announce the location, but then Atlanta put all this pressure on me. So now I got to go back to my to my my council. Got to go speak to my council, and then um, that's Dr. Jackson, Principal Cafele, Carlos Johnson, um, Dr. Chica, and Tracy. We all decide. You know, they they give me um, input on what do you think is a good place to have the conference because we wanted to be in a place like a Charlotte like in Orlando, those kind of places that they're big, but they're not too big that people can get lost or we want to make sure that we can keep you at the conference. There's so much to do in Atlanta. Um, and my millennials, my Carlandas and my J.R. Rivera's and my <laughs> Jessica Pontus, I'm scared I might lose them, Jesus. I might lose them to the city and I can't afford to lose them to the city. <laughs> so mm -hmm. we will be talking about the location. But if they could join the membership, get involved with the local chapters and when you're seeing certain initiatives coming out that we're going to be promoting, join those and participate in those. And again, utilizing each other's services and products and books, et cetera. Many of our members have written books. Many of our members provide services. Let's utilize each other in our spaces. And also remember that this is always going to be in a, a space where you can be authentic. Marisha Leak wrote it best. We need safe spaces. We need spaces where it can just be us. That's okay. It's okay for us to have those spaces and we're going to continue to have those spaces. So those will be the things that I would need from everyone just to continue to support the movement. That's what's up, Dr. Chester. I see all of these comments and the, the, the loop as well. Folks, <laughs> talking about, folks talking about this cruise ship, you know. Um, Tracy is looking that up. She's her and Simone Walden are actually going to get some pricing on that because people have to realize now with the cruise, you have registration and you have cruise fees. Now, we would really need some of those sponsors that um, that Emmanuel was talking about. We would need to get some significant sponsorships and grants to be able to do that cruise because you're talking about raising that. Even though most of us are used to paying for conferences, six and seven and eight and nine hundred dollars anyway. But remember, our conference is the best price conference in the country. And so if we go on a cruise, we have to remember that we're going to have those cruise prices as well. So we're going to be looking those up, though. Yeah, this space is so real. I love the fact that we can even come on a call like this on the BER live platform and even give an opportunity for folk to hear some of the behind the scenes, right? Because yes, yes. like Coach Johnson said, you know, sometimes folks are posturing so much that you never get a chance to really see the real of them. And yes. the way that you lead this group, Dr. Chester, is so ingenious that people feel Thank the you. freedom to be more vulnerable. Yes. So that's what's up. Yes. So. Before Dr. Chester closes us out really quickly, I need everybody who is committing to the conference to simply type one thing in the comment stream. Hear me. Type I'm in. OK, I'm in. And if you type I'm in, what we're asking you to do is this. Start the process of thinking about don't play with it. 
who it is that you are bringing with you. And even better, I know that I was able to connect with a slew of administrators from Rochester, and I told them, what does it look like for y'all to have to Title One funds and bring your whole staff? Like, this thing is so real. And all of those folks, namely the council that Dr. Chester spoke of, these are people who are making sure that we consistently bring an excellent product. So that thing is going to continue to enhance, but we need people on your end, on our end, to be all in. So I see some people typing that in. It's very simple. And I just need you to type, I'm in, I'm in. We need to be able to see that energy. We need to be able to see that momentum. Every time when we get on these BER live platforms, I need to do this check-in to know who's really in and who's really committed, really committed to the movement. Let me say this, Dr. Chester. And since we're going to be vulnerable in this space, I'm like, yo, I'm already serving. And every time when we talked about like, you know, the $50 and things of that nature, I'm just like, I'm giving up myself. I pay money uh, for this Be Live platform every month um, out of my own pocket. But guess what? Where my money is, that's where my heart is. I don't know where that, where's the link so we can do the $50? I'm about to do my $50 right now. Hopefully. Oh, it's just blackeducatorsrock.org. It's blackeducatorsrock.org. Listen, th those strip clubs, if we went to Atlanta, some of the strip clubs, maybe people was going to another place. And I ain't going to talk about it. Hey, $50. $50. Let's do it. I'm about to put my 50 I see a whole bunch of people saying, I'm in. Um, this is what's up. Dr. Chester, any parting words? You got the last word. After you talk, we're going to end this broadcast and we're going to go back to our nights. Um, just want to say it was a, it was a phenomenal experience this past weekend with you guys. And just like Carlos, like brother Carlos Johnson said, Coach Johnson said, let's not let it in and be that past weekend. And we don't do it again until next year. Let's continually, you know, find ways to 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 collaborate together, to to connect. I can tell you guys that um, J.R. Rivera has already committed to doing a social media class that we're going to do um, through the platform. He's going to come on and teach us how to how we can engage all of our different audiences because all of us have platforms of our own. He's going to come on and teach us how to do that. Um, Brother Carlos said that they're going to be getting together and doing some things with the men. Let's all continue to do that. Let's have space. There's, we have conference call lines. We have Zoom lines. There's nothing to reach out to myself or Tracy or another chapter um, leader or another um, staff member and say, hey, I have an idea. I would love to have this space where we do X, Y, Z. I mean, let's continue like like Brother Carlos said, like Big Brother Carlos said. Let's let's lead up to that. Let's not just be stop and then let's start talking about it a few months before the conference. Let's continue to support one another, uplift each other, so to encourage, inspire, and empower each other all throughout this year. All right, all right. Tell the people um, goodbye, Doc. We out of here. Bye, everybody. See you <laughs> soon. All right, all right.